Hello everyone, this is Sam Spade with another tutorial series. In this series, we're going to be talking about using Git and GitHub with GameMaker. Git is version control or source control. It allows you to back up and manage your backups, both locally and remote. The closest thing I can liken it to uh, in sort of a different context would be a Google document, where if you've ever gone into a Google document and looked at the revisions, you have a complete history of that document at all points from creation to present, along with a documentation of all of the changes as well as who made those changes and when and you could revert or review any of those changes at any time. Git basically is that but for your entire project and just like a Google document it allows multiple computers and that means multiple people to work on the same project simultaneously. The next thing to know is that Git is completely separate from GameMaker. It's open source software and it's one of the most popular versions of source control in the entire world. GameMaker does have some built-in Git support, but you can also use Git directly through the command line, Git Bash, and various other built-in and third-party GUI tools. We'll be using Git Bash for a couple reasons. The biggest reason to use Git Bash for me is that it means that if you have a question about how to use Git, you're not limited to the GameMaker community. As I said, Git is one of the most popular versions of source control in the entire world. And there's a lot of resources out there for it, including a free, very detailed manual, which I'll link to at the end. But pretty much all of the help and support that's out there for Git assumes that you're using Git in sort of the command line. I should specify that I'll be using Windows and Git Mash commands on Windows. I believe translate one-to-one -to, -one to what they would be in Macs. So if all of that sounds complicated, don't worry. The basics are actually incredibly simple and straightforward. Even though we'll be using the command line, it's really not that complicated once you understand how it works. GitHub is completely separate from both GameMaker and Git. GitHub is an online repository or sort of a web service or interface. It's sort of like Google Drive, but for uh, your projects, your Git projects. And very recently, this year even, I believe, you can now have free public and private repositories on GitHub. So if you look up some older versions of how to use GitHub, uh, with GameMaker Studio, you might see people saying to use something like Bitbucket or some other service because you can't have private repositories with GitHub unless you pay. That's not true anymore. Uh, you can still pay. I think the lowest tier is like $4 per month. It's actually what I use. But you can have free public and private repositories now. And it really opens up a whole new world of programming, even within the GameMaker community. There's a lot of really cool resources that people post on GitHub for GameMaker or make available on GitHub for GameMaker that if you understand how to use Git and GitHub, you can have access to. So should you use Git and GitHub? Well, hopefully I've already convinced you that you should, but if you wanna back up your work, if you wanna view your code online, if you wanna be able to seamlessly transfer your project from one computer to another, or you wanna be able to code in a team, then the answer is yes. It really is just an incredibly valuable tool to understand and be able to use. So what do you need to do to follow along with this tutorial? Well, first and most important, you need to download and install Git. This is a pretty simple process. I'll include links to instructions on how to do it below. For Windows, it would be helpful if you make sure that Git Bash here is checked under Windows integration. I believe it's checked by default. Uh, for Mac, you may have to learn some basic folder traversing commands in the terminal. Unfortunately, I don't use a Mac, so I can't be too much help here. But in watching Mac tutorials on Git, it doesn't seem like it is that complicated. Looks mostly like it is a CD change directory and LS to list the directories that are in that folder. And the other thing you need to do is make a GitHub account. We won't actually be getting into GitHub for a little bit though. So for the moment, just downloading and installing Git is enough. One thing you don't need to do unless you want to is mess around with any of the settings in GameMaker Studio 2. All of this will work without touching any of the preferences or anything about source control in GameMaker Studio 2. Though if you want to interact with Git from inside of GameMaker Studio 2, then you will need to do those things as well. However, the focus of this course is gonna be on understanding how to work with Git directly. And so at least at this point, I'm not going to cover that. In summary, Git is version control software that is not connected to or affiliated with GameMaker. It's a separate system that allows you to back up and manage your backups and work across multiple computers. There are some very important links below. Uh, the first is a link to actually download Git. The second is a link to GitHub where you can set up a GitHub account. There's also a link to what is essentially the Git manual. 
You can buy it in hard copy if you want, but it is available for free online. And then I've also linked to a tutorial series called Git and GitHub for Poets, which tackles the idea of Git and GitHub from an entirely different angle. And it doesn't use any code at all. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.